So I wanted to test something out. Since we're starting this process of self-sufficiency and homesteading and cooking things um, using as little power as possible, that sort of stuff, I decided, uh, especially with the dark winter coming, that uh, we got a few little solar generator things. They were on Black Friday sale too. And it was a uh, Blue Eddy. So they're my favorite because you, the battery technology in them, most batteries you get 500 recharges and then the battery starts to die off. These get 2,500. So you could last like seven years using draining it every single day before the battery starts dying. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, I'm going to test to see just on how much power does it drain an EB70 to uh, cook a little bit of rice. This is going to be uh, three cups of rice. So let's check it out. I'll be using the Jirushi. Not exactly sure how to say this, but it's the really good Asian rice cookers with the elephant on it. They're awesome. So this was a Black Friday deal and I couldn't help it. I had to get it. Blue Eddie's all charged up and ready to go. And I've got it hooked up to the rice maker. And so we're going to start this up. I'm making basmati, so we go to the long grain white. Let's start. Isn't that cute? It sings. And I believe this thing's on. So we'll find out here how much power this takes. So it is cooking at 350 watts. So for this particular model, it can go up to 700 watts. So you could probably... Oh, wait, it's jumping around. Um, you might be able to get away with two rice cookers at the same time. You'd be pushing it. But notice after the first drain, it's, it's really jumping around here. Actually, I don't know. Probably just one rice cooker. Uh, they, they make an EB70S. It goes up to 800 watts. It can probably handle two of these at once, I bet. And we'll see how much battery it kills. We'll be back. So I've only got a few minutes left here on the rice cooker. What I noticed is in the beginning it went as high as 350 watts, but I think that's just to get the rice to, to temp, but now it's just cruising along somewhere between 15 to 50 watts. It's just going up and down a little bit. Um, still over 80%, so pretty good so far. If you've never seen the Blue Eddy, it's it's pretty cool. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery. Those are the new ones that can do uh, just massive amounts of charges before they go bad. It's way better than the ones even out five years ago. Uh, it's got a DC side, AC side, little emergency light. And these little guys can be charged at 200 watts of power in. I really like Blue Eddy products. They're excellent. It's a good starter battery and you do a lot with just the sport model, they run anywhere between uh, the EB70 to EB70S when I was making this is anywhere between 500 to 600 depending on what day you catch it on Amazon. If you have the choice I would go with the EB70S, it's a little more wattage, get a little more buck, buck for the bang. Okay, so it finished up, there's a big reveal, let's see how the rice came out, looks perfect. Man, this rice cooker is so good. And then let's see how much power we're at. So, didn't even use up, we didn't even cross over to 80%. The power was a little up and down. I think the highest is spiked at 350, so this can only go to 700 watts. You might be able to run two of these at the same time. I'm not exactly sure. Or if you had different rice cookers, you could plug and play and try to match them. But, um, you know, pretty nice solution, especially if you don't have, um, you don't want to cook it over a fire or anything like that. And the rice, I mean, the rice makers are exceptionally good at making rice. So, pretty excited about this. My conclusion is it took about a fifth of that battery. We're still good to go. But it's somewhere, the only thing I don't like about the Blue Eddy is it doesn't give you an exact readout of like, you know, is it 85%? Is it 80 it's an 81. It, that's a, the, this uh, particular model, I wish they would have changed that because it's just kind of like ballpark. You're in the top, you know, 20% of the power. That being said, I appreciate it. We are trying to move off YouTube because YouTube's been horrible to us. And so 
If you like homesteading videos, I will have some on my Patreon coming up. Also, if you just want to support the channel and you don't want to pay any money, uh, I can link the products and you can go check them out. And, you know, at least uh, that's a free way to help out the channel because YouTube doesn't really pay us much anymore. So uh, we're trying to find alternative ways to, to help us keep going. So check us out. Thanks.